Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the setup process for an Amazon Echo Pop. So the first thing that we're gonna do is head on over to our smartphone to set up the Alexa app. So over on our smartphone device, what we want to do is download and install the Alexa app. If you don't already have this app, we're going to download and install it if you're on Android in the Google Play Store. If you're on an Apple device, it's going to be in the App Store. So opening that up and then at the top searching for Alexa and searching for Alexa takes us over to the Amazon Alexa app. We want to install this. Once the Amazon Alexa app has been installed, you can either open it from here or we can head back over to our homepage. And if you can't find the Alexa app on one of your homepage screens, if you're on Android, what you can do is drag up from your bottom screen area. You can find all of your apps in alphabetical order. So I have Amazon Alexa right here. I'm going to drag and drop it onto the main page of my home screen so that it's easy to access. It's important to note that we want to have our Bluetooth turned on. So dragging down from the top of our screen and we can see our Bluetooth right here, turning that on. And you also want to make sure that you know what internet connection that you're hooked up with and the password for that wireless router if we get prompted to enter in that info. But going back to my home screen and opening up the Amazon Alexa app, if you already have the Alexa app and you've signed in before, you probably don't have to worry about this. But if this is your first time signing in, go ahead and enter in your Amazon account info. So the email or phone number that is associated with your Amazon account, along with your Amazon password, and then click sign in. After successfully signing in, we're going to continue. And there's some additional menu pages that you can go through to set up everything how you want it on your Alexa account. But once you get to the end here, we're going to click on done and going to our Alexa home. After setting up the Alexa app, the next thing that we're going to do is plug in our Echo Pop. Use the included power adapter. A blue light bar will flash on the device in about a minute. Alexa will tell you to complete setup in the Alexa app. So what we're going to do is take our power cord and we're going to plug it in here to the back of the Echo Pop. And then, of course, the plug side, we're going to plug into an outlet. So this end of our power cord plugging in to the back of the Echo Pop. And then the other end is plugged in to a power outlet. And then at this point, we get this blue light showing up. After a little bit of time, it'll switch over to an orange light going back and forth. With this orange light going back and forth, that means we're now ready to set up our Echo Pop over in the Alexa app. Back in our Alexa app, what we want to do is go down here towards the bottom and click on where it says Devices. And then in the upper right hand corner, we see this little plus icon. We're going to click on that to add a device. And this is going to be an Echo device, so we're going to select that. And then here in devices, we're going to click on Amazon Echo. And this is going to be an Echo Pop, so selecting that option. And we need to give permission for access on Bluetooth, so we're going to click continue. And then allowing this. So our Echo Pop is plugged in and displaying an orange light, so I can confirm this by clicking yes. And it only took about a second or two for it to find the Echo device, so I can click on it right here. Make sure your device is nearby, plugged in, and in pairing mode. Now you need to select your Wi-Fi network. Mine's name is Asus22, so that's what I'm going to click on here. And then the Wi-Fi network that you select, make sure you know the password so that you can enter that in here, and then click Connect. It's now connecting to Wi-Fi. The Echo Pop is now connected and ready to go, so I can click Continue. Some things to know on your Echo Pop, there's three buttons, which are Volume Up, Volume Down, and Mic Off. To snooze an alarm, tap on the Echo Pop once. This only works when your microphone isn't muted. So we can click Continue. Choose your language. Select which room your Echo Pop is located in, and then click Continue. You can set up your voice ID. So a voice ID enables Alexa to learn your voice, recognize you when you speak to any Alexa device, and provide enhanced personalization. So if you'd like to do this, click Agree and Continue. For more personalization in terms of local weather, traffic, and other things, you can add your personal address, and they're going to use your default Amazon shipping address. So you can select that here and then click Continue. And after going through the final menu options, it'll take us back to our Alexa homepage, and our device is now set up and ready to go. So now if we go down here towards Devices and click on that, we can now see that the Echo Pop is in our devices and is online and ready to go. So I hope this video is helpful walking you through the step-by-step -step process and how to set up an Amazon Echo Pop. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, and I'll see you back here next time.